back with Sweden Rock TV and right beside me I got I don't want to call her lovely Lee that would sound terrible, but um, okay. legendary Lee I guess that fits perfectly for Aww. you. You're just off stage, you did an amazing show, great songs. How do you feel about the atmosphere at Sweden Rock? Oh, the atmosphere was great. You know, I was a bit concerned. Um, most festivals were not on this early, so we were one of the first bands on today at noon on the rock stage. And uh, I will, you know, at quarter after 11, there were like 20 people up there. And when we walked on stage at noon, there was, you know, a thousand, over a thousand people out there or whatever. I don't know, a couple thousand people. It was awesome. So, yeah, and I mean, the feeling was really, really good. I think people were... Uh, really really open to hearing um, their favorite old songs as well as a lot of the new stuff that I played seemed to really go over they really liked it they were singing along and amazing yeah. new stuff I yeah oh th <laughs> thank you thank you so people were were open and they were ready for that and it's you know this is a really good um, kickoff for me because come September of this year both of my small children who are five and seven are going to be in school full time and finally after this amount of time I've taken a bit of a hiatus from recording I'm gonna start recording again I'm gonna have the time you know so it's gonna be good and I'm gonna make another record so it's a good uh, kickoff to that so that sounds great please correct me if I am wrong but we didn't see you around Europe for a while is that correct that's correct yes you didn't yeah. So, um, can we expect a bit more in the near future, maybe with the release of the new album, that you are coming back to Europe to tour again? Well, you know, when I, the kind of touring that I used to do, I used to go away for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks. Um, I'm a parent now, I'm a mom, and I love my kids so much, and I, but I also love music. And while I have every intention of continuing to make music, touring the way that I used to, I don't think I'll ever tour like that again. However, I am very, very open to, to coming and doing, um, like if there was a two or three coordinating festivals that went with this one that we could have put together, we would have stayed here longer. Um, then that's a possibility in the future is putting together blocks of festival dates. And yeah, if there's a market, we will be back in Europe. I miss Europe so much. And coming to Sweden, you know, has just been a treat, a treat for us. Do you have some special relations to Sweden? Something special, or Europe in general? Well, besides the fact that Europe um, probably accepted me as, a, as a, a rock artist long before my own home country, Canada, it was a real uphill battle, you know. Um, I was one of the very first Canadian female hard rockers and I got sort of t not taken seriously. I was treated like a bit of a joke in Canada when I first started. Um, and whereas in Europe, the fact that I was a woman was kind of irrelevant. I was a, this good, ro strong rock singer. Oh, and I just happened to be a woman. And um, so it was a bit of a different vibe. And uh, and so, yeah, I have a lot of uh, um, thankfulness and a lot of appreciation, and a lot of gratefulness in my heart to Europe for that in the, in the beginning of my career, for sure. Yes. That sounds really, really good. I love the way you are changing from this really hard rock into to be a bit more bit more, let me call it soft, is that wrong? No, not soft, but a um, bit different these days. I think this fits so well to you. Um, do you still feel comfortable in both corners to be the hard rocker and to be the more soft one? Well, I, you know, I don't know if soft is really the yeah, right word. It, I, I, I'd like to think of it as a little more sophisticated. Yeah, okay. A little more mature, <laughs> a little more sophisticated. You know, I love to strap on a guitar and rock. I think it's so much fun, but I think as you mature as an artist and you you grow up a bit you realize that there's there's a little more to um, just you know the well the spectrum of music in general I mean I I don't just go home and listen to hard rock records I listen to a very very broad range of things in fact my husband has a vinyl collection of over 200,000 pieces oh you should we have a library at our house which is out of control um, so I've been exposed to lots of things and I like to look at it as expanding, not like getting bigger, not getting smaller, if that makes any sense. Um, I still want to have room for really edgy rock songs in my show, but I also like the idea that you can have a sonic break where you can segue into something that is, you know, maybe has a really powerful vocal, but is a, is, is, is a song that's a little more complex musically. Um, uh, you know, uh, there's more breathing room where you can hear the vocal and, um, so the audience can, they, they sit back and they go, wow, you know, they're actually really good musicians and they can really play yeah, too. Right. And uh, I think there's room for both. Absolutely. That sounds very, very good. Uh, my final question would be, does your kids listen to your music? 
<laughs> well, what are they saying if you're playing some of your stuff at home? <laughs> when I'm practicing at home, I hear lots of, Mommy, be quiet. Yeah. <laughs> Mommy, shut up. <laughs> and so they don't, you know, we, uh, my, the, the kids finally last summer, there was an all ages show and it happened to be local where we lived. Because most of my shows are fly out of town shows. And we played together. My husband is the drummer. And um, after the show was finished, I said, well, so what'd you think? How'd you like it? And they said, well, we like daddy's drumming, but you did a lot of shouting, mom. <laughs> I'm like, fair enough. Oh, well. Uh, I think it's going to change with the time. <laughs> it's gonna, they're going to see so. it from a different view. Lee, thank you so much that you took some minutes so we could make this check up and follow up what's going on with you. Let me wish a safe trip home if it goes home now. And let me wish all the best for the future. I'm looking forward for the new release, maybe for some touring next year, in, in yeah, Europe, maybe in so, Germany, absolutely. Sweden, yeah. wherever. Maybe you have some final words for the watchers of the Sweden Rock team. Oh. <laughs> Sweden, you rock. We want to come back and uh, hope to see you next year at Sweden Rock Festival.